Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you iOS 6 Beta 1 on the iPad and the iPod Touch. Uh, so at the moment obviously I've got a developer's account, um, I'm going to be learning Xcode soon, uh, so it's going to be quite cool. So what I've done is I've put the Beta 1 on the iPad 3, uh, I'm going to show you a bit what it does, including Siri. Okay, so first things first, we'll open the settings menu, and as you can see that there are a couple of new categories here uh, that you can choose from. Some include the, the privacy tab, I've never seen this before. Uh, basically, you can privatise your photos, reminders, calendars, contacts, and location services. Uh, this is quite good for, you know, when you're out um, and you just want to have a bit of privacy and turn off your location services people can't find you, find my iPad you can turn on, you can turn off Twitter location services, uh, Siri location services as well um, also we've got the do not disturb if you don't want to receive any FaceTime calls for some reason just turn do not disturb on and nobody can call you, simple uh, picture frame, there's a couple of new things here as you can see uh, what else is there? There's there's loads. Um, Safari as well, a couple of new updated settings there. Uh, also we've got integrated Twitter and integrated Facebook. I'm going to be showing you those next. I'm also going to be showing you Siri uh, working. It is it's really good. I haven't actually noticed any bugs just yet either. So let's have a look at Siri. Okay guys, now we're going to be updating my social networks with the iPad using Siri. Update Facebook. What would you like your message to say? Hey guys, just testing Siri while updating with my iPad. I updated your Facebook status. Ready to post it? Yes. Okay, I posted your Facebook status. Update Twitter. Update Twitter. What would you like your message to say? Hey guys, just testing Siri. I updated your tweet. Ready to send it? Yes. Yes. Okay, I sent it. So as you can see, um, Siri has basically just sent my tweet to Twitter uh, and it's obviously going to post down on my wall somewhere. Um, so yeah, that, that is uh, updating social networks with Siri. Really, really cool. I recommend that you get an iPad right now and wait until autumn for this update. And just use it every day because it is cool. Right, so now what we're going to do, we're going to have a look at the Clocks application. Uh, what you can do is actually just go into any part of the world and look at what the time is, um, what the weather's like as well. As you can see there, 18 degrees in Tokyo right now. Go into New York and it's 19 degrees. 10 to 9 I'm guessing in the morning. Uh, and also you've got Paris, um, obviously it's 10 to 3 in the afternoon and it's 20 degrees in Paris, as you can see up there, 20 degrees. So that is another really cool application um, that they have updated. Okay, another thing that they have done is updated Safari. Um, it's really cool, I'm going to show you. Open Google. I imagine you can. Open Google. Searching the web for Google. So as you can see, I've gone to the Google search engine now. So now what we've got here, um, basically we can post this page. Um, you know, the, the settings, the GUI is just kind of 
been upgraded a little bit now. Um, I could post this page to Facebook if I wanted to. I could email this page to someone. I could message it to someone. Uh, or I could post it to my Twitter. If I had an air printer, which I don't, then I could use print. And just obviously print out things. I can add it to my reading list. I can also copy it and add it to my bookmarks. Um, now, when I do add pages to my reading list now, um, rather than a little link showing up, it will actually show you the page as well. So uh, let's have a look at uh, the reading list. And as you can see there, there's the icon for what I just saved. There it is. Simple as. Obviously, you can still uh, do you know everything that you could before. iCloud tabs as well. Uh, if I was to open, say, Google.com on my iPod Touch, uh, and I clicked I, iCloud tabs, then Google.com would appear here. Um, and you know, just whatever's, whatever's open on here, I can share it directly to my iPad, which is another really cool uh, little thing that they've integrated. Okay, so another thing that I have noticed is that they have updated all of the languages on Siri. You can speak to her in Chinese, Japanese, English, um, French, Italian, German, everything. It's just it's just all there, ready for you. Yeah, so yeah, Hong Kong, um, everything you can speak in. Also, UK Maps are working. Find the nearest coffee shop. Snap. So there we go, it's just shown up all of the uh, coffee shops that are near to me. It focuses. So as you can see there, that they are the, uh, the places that are near to me. I can also look at the reviews and then look at them on the map, just see what they're like. And also, I can direct, if I was obviously in the car, then uh, I could set up a satellite navigation system uh, and basically just navigate to that coffee shop. Someone's left a review about it. There we go, there's the address of it and all of that there. Um, so yeah, that, that is a real a look there at the maps as well as you can see. Uh, so yeah, that is iOS 6 Beta 1 for the iPad. Uh, when more updates come out, I'll do another video and show you what's been updated. Uh, if you've got any comments, just comment down below. If you like the video, click like. If you want more videos, click subscribe. Uh, and if you want to see any other videos related to mine, uh, to the right hand side, have a look at them. Uh, so that's it. See you later. YouTube.com forward slash The Market Show.